Now to a story you will only see on two. A South Loop couple woke up to the sound of gunfire and then saw this. A bullet hole in their window just a couple of feet from where they were sleeping. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli spoke to the shaking couple. He joins us live from the newsroom. Mike? Jim, the couple says they were told that a man got into a fight at a nearby bar and then took out his frustration outside their high-rise apartment. It was the dead of night outside 1001 South State Street in the South Loop. I was dead asleep. Rebecca Schiavo was in bed in her seventh floor apartment alongside her husband Nick when they were jolted awake. And I heard this really loud just crash and we thought our cat had probably like knocked a glass over or something. But this was no cat. It was a bullet that had ripped through their window more than 70 feet above State Street. The hole is about here. I mean that could have been a really close call if we had been standing there. So. But fortunately, Rebecca wasn't standing there because at 1.50 in the morning, she was lying down two feet away. I was here and I think I kind of sat up and then you were kind of springing over <laughs> the bed. That's because Nick was thinking about what could come next. I kind of ran over to her and was like, get back, get back, just lay in the bed, stay down just in case there was more shots. When she did look out, the cops were already speeding down State Street. Which was crazy fast, by the way. So fast that they caught Giolente Collins at the scene and recovered a weapon. They then went up to the Schiavo's apartment. Yeah, we had glass just kind of all over in the cracks and on the sill and on the floor and everywhere. So yeah, we kind of had to leave that put until the police came and found the bullet. Collins has been charged with firing a weapon into the air and could be locked up for more than a year if convicted. Rebecca's parents were in the apartment when the bullet shattered their sense of security. Yeah, my parents were like, you guys are moving. Rebecca says she was moving involuntarily right after it happened. I was definitely shaking. And even though their window was the only one struck in a 40-story building, these two Michigan transplants are feeling fortunate. The hole is right around here, head level, which is kind of terrifying now that you think about it. Um, and it, that's about the base, it's about a baseball size hole. And so it easily could have been one of us that got hit by it if we were standing in front of the window. Now, the Schiavos say they heard six or seven shots in all. Police took the bullet so they can match it to the weapon recovered at the scene. Collins also faces a criminal damage to property charge. In the newsroom, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Jim? Mike, thank you.